All right, so today we are going to connect Smart Audio, a TBS Unify using Smart Audio, to our quad, and we're going to use Soft Serial. The reason for this would be you are either out of UARTs, or you have, in my case, you have a UART that is really hard to reach. Uh, I'm using UART 1. UART 6 doesn't work because it's inverted. And UART 3 is on the very bottom of my quad. So I need to use something for smart audio. What I've elected to do is the LED pin. Um, if you have spare motors such as motors 5 or 6 or even 7 and 8 and there is a pad that you can locate then you could use that as well. What you need to do is find what the memory location is and you're going to use resource remapping and you map to the new location and set it up and you use that pin. So in this case I'm using LED connect my quad okay so we have no soft serial port it's a global configuration you need to enable first if it's not already enabled right here, soft serial. Let's validate. It is on. Alright, now since we haven't set anything up yet, you won't see it yet. As soon as you assign a resource to it, you will see it. So let's go to our command line. And we are going to type resource. So I have a motor 5 and a motor 6, but I don't know where the pins are. Uh, it might be possible to find that. Um, on one of my other builds, I actually used motor 5 and motor 6 because they're labeled. In this case, I use the LED strip. So that is using B06. So we're going to do resource LED underscore strip 1, none. All right, we just read that resource up and now what we're going to do is resource serial TX and it's TX because smart audio is uh, transmitting a signal to the unify in order to change settings um, I think the soft serials need to be 11 and up so 11 would show up as soft serial 1 12 would be soft serial 2, etc. So we're going to go with 11. And then we're going to use that memory location that we just freed up from the LED pin, B06. Okay. So let's save. That reboots. Now, there we go. There's a soft serial. So the next thing we need to do is. Well, it's already selected because I had already set this up and then put everything back to original. But you would see it disabled. You would enable TBS Smart Audio on that. And you would click Save and Reboot. And that's it. Uh, I've done this with the Motor 5 pin, the Motor 6 pin, uh, the LED pin. I'm sure there's others you can use. Um, yeah. A and the reason you can do, you don't need a hardware UART because uh, Smart Audio is a low baud rate protocol. You know, you're not sending massive amounts of data. It's a very minimum amount of data going back and forth. So, in short, it's super easy. Do it if you need to. Otherwise, use uh, a UART. So, on one of my other builds, I used the Motor 5 and Motor 6 for it. 
well, one of those because I needed the remaining UART, uh, the hardware UART, for my ESC telemetry on my BL Heli 32, which I'm still working on. So, happy flying. <laughs>